The reason why visuals are so important is because our brains are incredibly clever, but they are also incredibly lazy. We are known as cognitive misers. We don't want to think about too many things all at once. So what we do is we just process things that are going to be relevant to us right now, which means it's very easy to kid ourselves. How many times do we think, well, I've done a little bit of exercise so I can eat that whole cake? Or you say yes to something, even though you know you're really busy, but you just don't want to upset somebody or you just don't want to deal with it at that precise moment. Our brains do try to protect us but visuals help us recognize what's real. Imagine, for example, that we lost power for a second and everything went dark. And I carried on teaching, carried on talking. It'd be very easy for you to think that I'm actually talking in exactly and doing exactly what I was doing last you saw me. That may only be partly true, but of course, sometimes you can't always believe what you see either. So, Today, I want to give you a very quick warm up, which is all about how you can use visuals to work for you. If you have a calendar that has color coding, this is what we're going to start with. Now, most smartphones do have calendars and most of them allow you to change the colors for various different events. What I found was I decided to color code my priorities. In other words, I had uh, friends in pink, I had work related things in blue, I had health related things in green. And then I also color coded for the things that I did, but exhausted me. And by being quite rigid to those color codes for around a month, I could then look at my calendar screen and I suddenly thought, oh my goodness, there is a very clear bias to one color. And this may not be a problem if, for example, you're looking at health or if you're looking at um, fitness or career and it's biased towards that color, that's great. But if you are finding that you are color coding and ending up doing more things which exhaust you rather than energize you, rather than work towards your goals, it may be a very good time to redress that balance. So this week, have a look at your calendars. Consider color coding. You don't need to tell people what the colors stand for. And then with that evidence, use it in order to take that power and take that opportunity to shape your life in the way that you want.